guys, what's up? It's Melanie, I'm back. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different with these random pieces of a headboard and footboard that I've had lying around. We're gonna be using both side rails, the footboard, and just a small portion of the headboard in order to complete this project. Large portion of the headboard will be perfect for a bench, so we'll save that for later. We're gonna cut out a large portion of all four pieces to shrink this thing down. I'm adding some molding on both side rails just to give it something a little bit more. Two by twos on the headboard and footboard are not only for support, but they're also going to be the support for the mattress. Using the side rail supports, we can easily attach this to the headboard and footboard. All we need to do now is screw it into place. tall rails that came off the headboard will be perfect. For the top of the headboard, we're going to use the middle section that we cut off of the footboard. We need to apply some dowels so that way we can secure these poles back onto the headboard.
Now for the paint part, we're gonna use my Klingon F40. This is a brand new one, and man, I love these brushes. I wanted to keep a very beautiful neutral look for this bed. through is when the tannins from the wood or the oils in the wood or dirt or anything comes through your paint that happens sometimes that's why primer is sometimes used we didn't use primer so what we're going to do is we're going to block that in with one hour enamel Now that we have that bleed through blocked in with one hour enamel, we can go back in with our DIY Prairie Gray and give it another coat. I started off thinking I was just gonna highlight with White Swan. out I just couldn't resist dry brushing this entire piece. Dry brushing is when you get your paint on your brush and then you wipe off the majority of it. You want the tiniest bit of paint on your brush and then you go over your piece. Okay, for ultimate protection, we're gonna go back in with one hour enamel and seal this entire thing up. These are actually marine snaps. So they're made for boats, yachts, things like that. My dad happened to give me a bunch of them. They're really cool because they have a screw on them and then they actually have the snap in part for a button. Little Miss Olive has been chilling in the garage with me. She's actually a three-year-old deaf sphinx. It's a two-part system to attach the button part to the snap. You hook it into the fabric, you need to smash it down so the little prongs go flat in there, and then you are ready to go. I wanted to do this for the fabric portion of the bed because being that it's a dog bed, it's pretty important that you're able to take this fabric off and wash it. Also, it could be interchangeable with different fabric.
kind of hard to see with this fluffy fabric, but there we go. We've got a little button snap that'll hook to the frame on the mattress. fancy doggy pillows to go here at the top and there you go guys you have the fanciest coolest dog bed ever kylo loves it what do you guys think as always if you're interested in any of the products that i used in this video you can find them on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com you guys are awesome thanks for hanging out with me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. If you're interested in the marine snaps that I used, I'm gonna to try to find you guys a link on Amazon.